and welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna, and today I want to talk to you about a really interesting find that archaeologists have been working on for quite some time. Now, in the hills between Judea and the Dead Sea, there was a cave where they retrieved a whole bunch of seeds. And what the archaeologists did was sort through the seeds and determine that there were about 34 that were viable that may be able to be planted and sprout. So they took these seeds, they put one aside as a control, and they soaked to try to rejuvenate 33 of these seeds and planted them. And some of them took. Now, one didn't, so they discarded that after they soaked it. But out of these 32 seeds that were left, they got saplings. And what they could do from these saplings is that they could take a little bit of the whole of the seed and the root, and they could radiocarbon date it. And they found out that the seeds dated back to about 1800 to 2200 years ago. So these are 2000 year old seeds that they've planted and sprouted. And so they've done some genetic testing on the seeds and what they found is that these were date palms. Now, ancient writers such as Pliny the Elder from Rome and Herodotus from Greece have documented these fields and these orchards of date palms in antiquity. And some of these dates measured over four inches long. So these were very, very huge dates. Through this genetic testing, what they found is that there was a hybridization from dates from the east and dates that would be found in the west. So these early farmers with these date orchards created this sort of hybrid where they could have larger fruit that was sweeter. And this is what's documented in the historic record. So this is an amazing opportunity to study the past through modern technology. Now these archeologists are studying these dates as they grow, they're hoping that they will fruit. Uh, the seeds themselves they noticed were larger than modern date palm seeds. And so they expect these fruits also to be larger. This is just one of the things that archaeologists are now doing to try to recreate what was going on in the past, to try to fully understand it. Now what archaeologists usually do is look at the historical record and try to corroborate that with what they find. And this is exactly what this is doing. It's showing us that Herodotus and Galen and Pliny the Elder, these early writers in antiquity who were writing about what they observed and what they saw um, actually existed and we can recreate this in the modern world. Now a lot of times we'll have some art and we see date palms in art on pottery or in mosaics, but it's really hard to know if you know everything is to scale when we see a piece of art. But being able to plant these seeds and to have them viable 2000 years later is really a testament to modern science. And I can't wait to see what else they find through this experiment and others similar where they're taking some of these old seeds or plant um, particles and trying to um, examine them or even recreate them using DNA or other technology in the laboratory. So time will tell, but who knows, maybe we'll be eating the same variety of dates they ate in ancient Greece. There's a great article on this subject and I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you're enjoying our videos, please like them, share it with your friends and family, hit the notification bell. We also have links to our social media below. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.